Hey guys, um, uh, short video about uh, investing. Uh, NXE just went up a lot and that's really great to see. Uh, went from 7 million market cap to 20 million, or no, 17 million market cap. And since there are no extra coins in circulation over time, uh, that also is the same effect on the coins itself. So that's very good. But um, I dropped the ball at the end of the bear market. I sold a piece of my NXT and uh, a quite big piece and uh, of course the timing was wrong and that's now proven uh, now that it has uh, more than doubled in only a week's time um, and it brings me to uh, investing um, there are basically two philosophies two 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 ways to invest in in bitcoin um, or cryptos and that is hold forever eh? you see that a lot promoted on the forums and it doesn't make a lot of sense because those that have done that eh, never sold bitcoins not on the highs not on the lows eh, have done the best um, by far eh? those that have tried to try to sell on a high buy more on a low well many 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 have um, have lost a very big piece of their original a crypto portfolio and many uh, many sour grapes <laughs> um, so so um, that's the situation huh? um, so but there is for every investment strategy there is a good time and a bad time so when the market just has corrected a lot you will um, have uh, which is the case with Bitcoin even though Bitcoin just went up to $700 600 euro um, uh, and it bought them out at $160 uh, 150 euro it's been a long 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 um, sideways market and bear market and we're only recovering from it now in the past uh, half year uh, it took two years basically of a, uh, a bear market one year till the lowest reach from the whole year of 2014 start of 2015 the low was reached but then for the rest of 2015 it has been around 250 dollars 200 euro only at the end of the year and so half a year ago it went up uh, uh, out and uh, to 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 500 dollars correct to 400 dollars and now it has gone up again to 700 also so now we're clearly out of the bear market but that's only with the last half year the case before that and that's was 2014 and 2015 uh, that was two years of bear market basically and um and 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 uh, and the same for nxt and uh, other altcoins uh 2014 and 2015 was a downward spiral so two years bear market and I mean if you invested you're sitting on huge losses and in that period it's the best is to um it's clear that um many people realize that they should have sold some cryptos during the bubble of 2013 and they regret not doing that and that's the situation where i'm in when you look at my previous videos that i'm realizing i should have sold more uh, on those highs I should have bought less um, during the continued bear market because losses have continued to accumulate and but you know that's a very bad timing well that's true but it won't be true for the coming period very likely those that so those that have hold for the most part set on much losses and those that traded have done well but the inverse will likely be true for the future we will get another bubble and maybe we'll get soon another bubble after that because this was the longest bear market after ever and probably those that just hold and not trade it even when it went up a lot will likely do a lot better um, over the next uh, half year year and and, and 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 of course there will be a point where you get such high valuations where yes that's the right time to sell 
and 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 then you will be able to even um like in the bear market after that um make even more profits by 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 locking in profits on a very high and then being able to buy your cryptos back for cheaper and um so so that's true but it's gonna be absolutely uh, it's it's just almost an impossible job to predict how high it will go you can't it could be go extremely high huh? uh, or not and 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 um you the risk of selling way too soon and not being able to buy buy back those coins is very high especially today especially during the first bubble when you go times five versus the old all-time high for bitcoin so if we go to five thousand selling then it's basically a toss-up a 50 50 chance you will be able to buy them back cheaper but you have a lot of transaction risk then eh? and uh but especially also the altcoins uh, um nxt but a lot of them with the exception of ethereum because that went already to 1 billion market cap but many of the others they are in 10 20 million market cap these are market caps that are very low and 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 they could easily go up to a few hundred million market cap even a billion like ethereum just showed and and so any anything you sell on the way up will prove to be way too soon so basically what I'm trying to say is the con the contrary of what I said in my previous videos. Well, I also said I'm I'm not selling anything on the way up. I'm only selling when there is a confirmation that the bull market is over. Well, I'm I'm saying the same today. Um, but uh, yeah, on the way up, selling I don't think is smart. Um, you need to really be. I have a lot of uh, confirmation that the bull market is over and that means a correction I studied uh, a little bit more during the previous bull market of Bitcoin from $10 to $255 there were uh, four or five corrections of around 20-30% and then it went from 255 to 55 in one week and that's a correction of not 20-30% but 70-80% eh? and then it went back up from 55 to 180 or so huh? oh, no 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 I'm wrong I'm wrong yes 250 or so 160 and then it went down again and it hit again $65 a month two months later so um, what you want to wait for is to see this massive bubble and then uh, sorry the massive massive correction not from 20-30% but like a total collapse a total panic that's what you want to see happening and then you don't sell any during that panic neither eh? so this requires enormous um, enormous uh, confidence and enormous um, character to not sell anything during this immense bubble and also not sell anything during the tremendous crash thereafter panic crash um, the right time to sell is when it rebounds from that panic crash to whatever probably half the all-time high probably or three four three quarters of the all-time high it will it will rebound and then it's the right time to sell if you really want to try to trade cryptos that's the right time but um yeah, on the way up is very risky and um um to be left behind and especially for altcoins eh? because bitcoin the larger a market uh, uh, an asset becomes the less it will go up over time percentage wise eh? so um it's much harder to go from 10 billion is bitcoin already from 10 billion to 100 billion is much harder than go from 20 million to 2 billion eh? but that's times 100 eh? 20 million to 2 billion uh 10 million uh to 100 million is times 10 eh? so it's easier to do the first 10 folding or uh, the first few 10 100 folding is much easier than the latter so your percentage the upwards potential in bitcoin is much lower than in many of the altcoins but also the risk is much lower with bitcoin because it has the lead so risk reward ratio of bitcoin certainly can be um it's not that i don't think it's that uh, much worse than of, uh, than the altcoins 
Mm. But um, except for the new uh, phenomenon with Bitcoin that the amount of transactions limit now, so that really does uh, make the risk reward ratio for Bitcoin worse than for many of the altcoins or for a couple of the altcoins. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, but I think it's also very, very important to prepare yourself mentally to, for me, like I'm not a, a hold forever guy. I am not like that. Um, even though I have to admit that that has been by far the best strategy in the past that people like Roger Ver or uh, uh, yeah Roger Ver is the best example uh, who uh, who bought a lot of coins when they are quite cheap around one dollar and and has always hold them and 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 didn't uh, sell uh, try to trade them that has really been um, well that the best strategy and um, so but it just doesn't fit with me. I, I have too much of an investment background and um, I'm not really, well, I wish I could do it, but I, I can't. Um, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm much more looking for safety than he is. And, um, and so when something becomes a very, very, has gone up a lot and becomes a very big part of my portfolio. I just want to diversify into some other assets and build some other uh, um, capital in a different way so that if this thing fails, I do have something left. And um, and so I'm, I'm really preparing to cash out on the right time some of my cryptos and, um, and, and diversify them into other assets that are not crypto related. Um, because I really felt the pain during the past bear market and the fear of of losing everything, and and that's really um that really led me to make poor decisions, uh, selling a big piece of my NXT on the low. Um, so so I hope that um, um I'm I'm better protected against that uh, in the future by having some real estate as well, which I don't I still don't have any real estate. I think that's a good diversification for me. Uh, but there are many other ways that you could invest also the, uh, this piece in gold. And, but the problem for me with, with gold is it's very liquid. And if then crypto goes down a lot, I end up selling the gold for crypto. And I'm again very exposed and risking it all. So um, that's why I want to diversify this time in real estate. Also because with real estate you can get a loan uh, at a fixed rate very cheaply these days, 2%. Uh, for 25 years that's that's much lower than the real inflation rate so and if you put enough money down you can make sure that uh, the, that the mortgage is the same as the rental income and that way you're actually not only diversifying capital but also building capital you diversify a piece into a, a um, paying a, putting down the a deposit but also once that gets going, you're building up capital in that real estate. Um, I don't want to start a rental business, so I would um, either outsource the renting to uh, a manager or I, I would only buy real estate that I also want to have myself uh, later on for in full and use it myself when I can afford it. But right now, I will... Um, uh, rent it out also partly so that uh, I'm building up capital and uh, in a different way as well. Um, voila, that's my plan. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.